Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's a hot, sunny, and windy day today, and we are out here with Shadowfax. Shadowfax. Hi, pony nose. Smooches. Smooches. So, we are out here today because somebody had asked me if I would do a little series on mini horses the same way I did with chickens and rabbits and quail. And I figured, why not? I have a pretty mini. Smooches. Nice, good smooches. And ignore the fact that he looks so mangy right now. He's shedding. Like, look at that neck. Look at his neck or his nose. He just wants you to look at his nose, his pony nose. That's why you call him pony nose. But, uh, so I figured, sure, I have a mini horse. He's a pretty mini horse. And I have learned a lot about mini horses in the last two years since we got him. There he is, such a pretty boy. So I figured, sure, I can absolutely do that. So I thought we would just start today by talking about what a mini horse actually is. Because a lot of people have no idea. Okay, they see a small horse and they immediately label him a mini. Bonnie knows, smooches, nice. But a mini is not just a small horse. A miniature horse is a breed in and of itself. So he is a purebred registered miniature horse. Okay, he's beautiful. He's a beautiful boy and he's shedding. But he is a purebred miniature horse. Both of his parents were purebred miniature horses and they are all under 34 inches tall at the bottom line of the hair. I will show you that in a little bit. I'm just sorry, keeping an eye on tequila while I do this. <laughs> it's a good thing. So, purebred miniature horse. What does that mean? Unlike a lot of other breeds, miniature horses are a height breed. So, most breeds, if the parents are purebreds, then so is your mini horse. So then so is your regular horse. Sorry, regular horse breeds. I'm coming in. You better step back. I'm coming in. So, let's just, there we go. Ah, uh, we're in. So for most horse breeds, if the parents are purebreds, then the baby, the foal, is a purebred as well. Regardless of what he looks like, how big he gets, whether he meets the breed standard or not, if his parents are pure, even if he's low quality and sucks, no horse sucks, but you know what I mean. But even if, he doesn't necessarily look like his parents. If his parents are registered purebreds, the baby can be a registered purebred. That's not the way it is in minis. Most associations, yes, most associations do require that you have purebred parents, so registered parents. Look, I'm just trying to film you from the side, man. I just want to film you from the side. Just chill a minute. Eh, he's a nice, okay, fine, don't chill. But with minis, yes, most associations, there's tequila, most associations want you to have both parents registered as minis, as miniature horses. But in addition to that, in order for him to stay a registered mini horse, he has to be under 34 inches because he's registered with the American Miniature Horse Association. Their maximum height is 34 inches. Okay, and when I say 34 inches, I mean, if we go to the neck here and find his hairline and go to the end of that hairline, measure straight from there to the ground, it's got to be less than 34 inches. He, hi, he is only 29 inches. So he's little. He's very little. So he qualifies as a miniature horse. And it helps that both of his parents were registered purebreds and he's under 34. So as long as he, at his full grown height, stays under 34 inches, at the withers or at the hairline, at the main line, where the mane ends, then he is also a registered purebred miniature horse. If he had gotten bigger than that, he's not a mini horse anymore. He is not a purebred miniature horse anymore and he is no longer registered, but he stayed under that, so he's fine. So, height varies between registries. Oh, sorry, height varies between registries. So for example, the American 
miniature horse registry allows certain minis to get up to 30, 38 inches. He's only allowed to be 34 because he's American Miniature Horse Association. There is a difference, not a huge one, but there's a class with the registry where you're allowed to be a little bit bigger. He's not allowed to be bigger because he's not with the registry, he's with the association. Hi, I just want to take a nice shot of you. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up because, no, don't follow me. Anyway, <laughs> hey, look how pretty he is. <laughs> so not all miniatures are registered, and some registries do have the option for what's called a hardship registration in some registries where the parents aren't necessarily pure, but if they're under the height requirement and they meet all the other qualifications for being a miniature horse, you can register them anyway. It's a lot of hoops to jump through to do that, but not every single, hi Arwen, not every single miniature horse will be registered, okay? And the term miniature horse is often used a little too generously and incorrectly. So just because you're a little horse doesn't make you a miniature horse. Um, a lot of times people will say it's a miniature horse if it's a horse that's under 10 hands high. Again, at the withers there, where his main line ends, that's where you'd measure from. But there's a problem with that. One, 10 hands is a little bit too tall. And also, miniature horses aren't measured in hands, they're measured in inches. So just because you are under 10 hands tall doesn't make you a miniature horse. Miniature horse is an actual breed. Okay, you could be a pony, or you could be a small horse, or you might be one of the other smaller breeds. Maybe you're a Welsh pony. They're naturally quite a bit smaller than a regular horse. But he's not a Welsh pony, he's a miniature horse. And frankly, I don't know a lot about Welsh ponies. I know a lot about miniature horses. <laughs> so the term is used incorrectly a lot. So if you're looking for an actual miniature horse, ask about the parents, ask about registration, ask if any of the adults have ever been um, registered, and don't be afraid to ask for a measurement. Okay, he is 29 inches, he's small. That's why everyone always says, well, he looks so small. He is very small for a miniature horse. Nuzzles, snuggles, kisses, very nice, good boy. <laughs> So, the one big thing about miniature horses as opposed to some of the ponies, like a Shetland or something, they literally look like miniature horses. If you took my sister's, uh, she's got a quarter horse, if you took her quarter horse and stuck him in the dryer and shrunk him down, he'd kind of look like Shadowfax. Not the color. Her horse is a different color. Shiner's a very different color. But the proportions. So, he looks like a horse look at that he looks like a horse he's just small so he's not overly chubby he doesn't have giant thick legs he doesn't have a short nose or a short fat neck or anything like that he looks like a small horse and it's fantastic and he's beautiful and you have made hay in your mane i'm just saying you've obviously been rolling so <laughs> he's a gorgeous gorgeous boy and he looks like a shrunken horse Okay, he's just a little horse. But really, some of the ponies definitely look like ponies. They're chunkier, they have heavier legs, etc., etc. A true miniature horse, if I removed all the background and you had nothing for reference, okay, so you couldn't measure him against the barn or see how tall he was versus the goat or the dog, you could be fooled into thinking he was 15 hands high. He's not, he's little. But you could be fooled into that. All right, so he should look like a, a small horse. So he looks just like a horse. Forgive his feet, they need trimming. The farrier will be on her way out in a couple weeks. But he looks like just a little tiny horsey. Yes, and you're a very pretty horsey. Yes, I know. Look at that beautiful eye. Pretty horsey. So <laughs> that is what a miniature horse is. They're a small horse, they're their own breed. So occasionally I have people saying, well, that's just a pony. No, he's a registered miniature horse. Now, Shadowfax is his barn name, Stop Eating My Paper. Sorry, Arwen's eating my stuff. But uh, Shadowfax would be his 
barn name. His registered name, I will dig out his papers so that I uh, say it correctly when we talk about registration. I'm not going to talk about that today. I just want to talk about what is a miniature horse. They're very specific. Okay, and he is mangy and dirty. But you'll see how beautiful he is in a couple of weeks. About three more weeks of shedding for him. Thank you. Pony nose. Love ya. Yes. Snuggle, snuggle, bite, bite. Oh, smooches. Smooches. Great. Yes. Your teeth need to be cleaned, man. Your stinky teeth. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That is all I wanted to cover for today. I wanted to talk about what a miniature horse is and what it is not. It is not just a small horse. And don't worry about that mess back there that's outside his fence line. We're cleaning it up so we can expand his fence line again. <laughs> I know someone's going to say something. You know, oh, you shouldn't have that stuff in his pen. It's not in his pen. It's on the outside. But a miniature horse is literally its own breed. They look like teeny tiny horses. He's actually very tiny. He's only 29 inches at the shoulder. Measuring them is a bit of a trick. And you really can't do it alone. You're going to need some help to measure your pony. And you're going to need a flat surface to figure out if you have an actual miniature horse or if you just have a pony. Not that there's anything wrong with ponies, but he is an actual purebred miniature horse. He's a gelding. Okay, gelding so that he uh, can't make babies and we don't have all the problems that stallions can bring. And tequila's over there in the water hole, so she's going to be all full of mud. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic, huh, my pony nose? Yeah, you're a good pony nose. I know. Such a good boy. But that is about it for us here at Anderson Acres. Remember, a miniature horse is its own breed, and they look like miniature horses. So we will see you tomorrow.